Welcome to the Rainbow Sash Movement Daily Podcast. Last month, a collection of Roman Catholic bishops, evangelical Christian leaders, and conservative academics gathered at the National Press Club in Washington to release a joint statement they called the Manhattan Declaration, a call to conscience delineating what Juan Siner calls a line in the sand on abortion, gay marriage, and religious freedom. It sounds like a cry for help, this declaration. It sounds like the leadership has lost their control of the people in the pew. Uh, We are aware of this in the Roman Catholic tradition, but we have not seen this in the evangelical tradition until recently. Uh, We have noticed in poll after poll that evangelical youth are more prone to support gay marriage uh, than their parents were. The sad reality of the Manhattan Declaration is that many think it is too little too late. This seems to be the story of most of the Roman Catholic bishops and evangelical leaders. They just don't quite get what's happening in their own pews yet. And uh, change is coming, folks, and it's coming from the bottom up. What's happening at Georgetown Catholic University? My God, gays are openly organizing over there. One wonders what the Jesuits are doing. Gay students at Georgetown first organized in the 1970s, just after the American Psychiatric Association removed homosexuality from its official list of mental disorders. The students repeatedly petitioned the university for recognition and resources. They were denied over and over again. Again, one wonders what has brought on this change of heart among the university leadership. Could it have anything to do, I wonder, with federal funding and their non-discrimination clause? Um, Inquiring minds want to know. Well, it looks like Houston has a new lesbian mayor. It's about time. The last few days of this campaign were not funny. In a seemingly sudden death period of the Houston mayoral race between city controller Anise Parker and former city attorney Gene Locke, conservative and religious groups resorted to mudslinking contentions. Blatant homophobia, folks. Blatant homophobia. And that's all these types can resort to when they go out into the public eye. City leaders in Washington, D.C. are expected to approve a gay marriage bill when they meet tomorrow. Tuesday vote is the last stop on a long journey to legal gay marriage in the district that began last spring with passage of a gay marriage reconciliation law. The bill's long incubation period has thoroughly aired out detractors' grievances, leaving little room for surprises. Still, backers are preparing for a large rally on Monday. Folks, we're about to get gay marriage in Washington, D.C., and my brothers and sisters out there, I hope you take advantage of it and do us proud. Thank you for listening to the Rainbow Sash Movement's daily podcast.